uh, a very good morning to everybody. Ben is here. Today I'm going to give a short talk on enterocytosis heptopenic in vitamin culture. This is a nice, this is a nice stream, is it? Okay. The talking point points will be covering the uh, general introduction of EHP mode of transmission and the pre prevention and solutions. Okay, first I like to introduce something about situation of EHP. EHP was first reported in Thailand in Manitoum in 2004. After that, more EHP infection cases were found among cultured vietnamese okay currently ehp infection are seen in china vietnam thailand and malaysia indonesia india and brunei all in asia ehp actually actually ehp is an obligate intracellular parasite okay which means inside the cell was very close to fungi. Okay, the EHP infect organ tubular epithelial cell of hepatopancreas and the intestine cell, in, intestinal cells. Okay, we can see here, this is the EHP. This is a normal hepatopancreas. This is infected by EHP. So here we can see a lot of spot, spots, spots. <clears throat> okay, what is uh, EHP? Actually, EHP is very, very tiny spot. P spot is very, very tiny from 1.1 plus minus 0.2 to 6, uh, 0.6 to 0.7 plus minus 0.1 micrometer is very very small okay always cluster together also can see spots move moving from lysid cell into lumens okay this is a lab circle of EHP okay the spots, material spots, will infect the, 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 the cell. In, 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 in fact, the cells, once a lot of uh, spots multiply, the cell will die. Then cell rupture release a lot of material spots. Then in fact, the healthy cells okay so the result they will result in i mean the some consequence consequence interfering interfering with the normal nutrient absorption also will affect growth of shrimp and the size of uh, shrimp vary a lot in the same batch Finally, if heavily infect individual, they will cause mortality. Okay, this is a, the shrimp infected by EHP. Okay, you, to here we can see the cells vary a lot. Okay, then another is a model of uh, trans, trans, transmission. They can spread well imported live feeds. Uh, as we all know, a lot of broodstock they are fed with the nairis, okay? So indirect contaminate the broodstock. And uh, they can transmit it horizontal from six stream. That means the, the healthy one can you delete them the, the, the sick stream? They will, the, will infect the others. Okay, the live stream from pandemic regions also will affect. 
environment and the water bird also have uh, some area also have EHP okay so here we can see the a lot of bird in the pond this is not good for the not good sign for the culture once the pond got some problem the fish say the, the, the shrimp say they will attract the bird come when the bird eat the sick dream when they fly to uh, cross the other pond okay the faces will drop in the pond in direct in fact transmit okay what's the solutions for EHP first I, I want to highlight some on environment first we have to sterilize the pond properly you can drain drain then you use some limestone after that when you pump the water in the pond it's better use the bleach or chlorine dioxide to sterilize the pond the water okay another is for the shrimp so before you purchase any pl you must get the report from the company okay this is the report in china we always check uh, test ehp wssv ihhnv and ahpnd tsv if totally free you can purchase otherwise it's better not purchase from this company okay of course during the culture when you find uh, something abnormal it's better check uh, test uh, this pathogen another is uh, for the water and the feed uh, during the culture it's better use some probiotics to uh, to to control the water parameters such as ammonia nitrate and also improve the immunity of the shrimp now in the market there are a lot of plenty of uh, probiotics you can buy from from them from the supplier they always make sure um, bacillus em and uh, lactobacillus every country have such kind of product you can buy from the big company maybe relax sauce and uh, uh, of course you have control of controlling of EHP when the shrimp um, when you just get the shrimp you the better you use some such kind of uh, product uh, for the controlling of EHP we always use you the better use some uh, reliable product to control EHP in the water and the shrimp body like some uh, herb extract and uh, some uh, uh, essential oil, natural, and the seed. But this product only for preventing, not for curing. That means once your shrimp infected by EHP, so we really, really cannot kill, only controlling. That means the number of the uh, EHP in the body. This product is very, very common. And just now I mentioned the life cycle for the EHP. Okay, only certain stage we can kill the EHP because EHP lab in the cells, no any drug can penetrate the membranes to kill uh, EHP. Of course, if you kill, you buy some drug to kill, all the shrimp will die. Okay and uh, also protect the hydrochloric pancreas during the critical period um, such as liver transition diseases outbreak uh, period it's better use some products such, such as uh, herb extract enzyme and uh, bio acid to protect hydrochloric pancreas and the intestine as we all know the main organ for digest lipid and uh, absorption of nutrients is hepatopancreas if hepatopancreas damage 
definitely they will affect nutrition absorption. And uh, finally, your shrimp will be get some problem if uh, damage habitat pancreas. Okay, this product also can improve the immune of shrimp, then promote growth of uh, of shrimp. Okay, this is all for today's short talk. Any question or you want to share some experience or other knowledge, you just contact my WhatsApp. Thanks. See you next time.